All right, we're going to talk about applying textures in this tutorial. Uh, what you did last time was that you expanded your, your box and, and made it fairly large size, and you hollowed it out with pretty standard uh, wall thickness, and you ungrouped uh, all six of the brushes. So now you have six separate brushes, your floor, ceiling, and your four walls. What we're going to do now is we're going to apply uh, texture to the faces of those brushes. Remember, one of the things I encourage you to do is to use the no draw texture. And what that allows you to do is, is to take each one of the brushes and, uh, and create them in the least sort of uh, memory intensive way. You got to think of these brushes as not flat planes, but they're three dimensional. And so each one of the six brushes has six sides. Uh, two uh, pretty large sizes, but uh, four sides that are eight units wide going all the way around them. And so what you're looking to do in order to conserve memory is to just paint the faces, only the stuff that a player is going to see. So let's look at a, an example from Half-Life 2 to see what I'm talking about here. All right, this is from the train station. Uh, this is inside the lobby of the train station. And, you know, what you see is some of the assets and some of the, the nodes and all those kind of things. We also start to see sections of the wall that the player never interacts with, but that are making up brushes that are marked as no draw. Uh, the designers and, and the artists uh, decided to leave these blank because you would never, ever see them. And they didn't want to use uh, computing power in order for something that the player would never interact with. Let's get a pretty good example of it when we go out into the street here. Okay, so we go out to the lobby, and here we are in the street of City 17. We're approaching a building here, and on the outside, it's a fairly well-rendered building. Uh, it's got textures and windows, and it's got uh, uh, hints and transportation nodes and things that go on in the game. But as we enter the building, you notice that the entire t interior is set up as no draw because the player never sees it, and so it's completely unnecessary. And so... Uh, kind of think of this process as you're developing your pieces and as you're putting together your brushes is that you want to be cognizant of the fact that you'll actually be able to compile and run this game. All right, let's switch back to our original demo here. And we're going to talk about uh, the, the, uh, the face edit sheet. If you look at your uh, tools here on the left side, you'll see one that's entitled Toggle Texture Application. You can also use Shift A. But what that opens up is your face edit sheet, and this gives you the properties of the texture that you're working with. Uh, it has to do with rotation and placement and, and kind of the lighting map scale and things like that, stuff that we're not going to worry about at this point. But uh, one of the things that's interesting is we have this mode. And uh, what this allows you to do is to kind of do different kind of applications of the texture. Lift and select, uh, you when you click a brush face, it selects the brush face and then sets its texture as your current texture in the face edit sheet. And so what this allows you to do is that you're not having to reselect the texture over and over and over again. Lift, uh, when you click a brush face, it selects only its texture, not the brush face. So you're not... If you're trying to remove something, you're not going to take off the node draw behind it. Uh, select allows you to, uh, when you click the brush face, it selects only that brush face and no other aspect of it, so not all six sides of it. Apply texture only. Clicking a brush face applies the current texture. Apply texture and values. That's where you start to get the lighting in. And align to view by clicking the brush face. Uh, you apply the current texture using your camera as the point of origin. And so for our case right now, we're just going to choose Select. And so remember, that's going to just select the brush face that we're dealing with. It's going to leave the other five sides of the brush empty. All right, so I'm going to select the four uh, walls of the brush face, uh, the four uh, wall brush faces in this box. So I've got to set down the mic to do this, but hang on. All I did was uh, control click each one of the four walls. And now I'm going to browse the textures. And this gives me, again, uh, we talked about this earlier, when you hit browse, it gives you every texture that occurs in the game. I'm going to actually bring it to the top here. 
to get to the more standard textures. Sorry, this will take just a sec. Let's go ahead and slide it. Let's see if it wants to slide with me. Okay, our computer's lagging a little bit. All right, and so I'm just going to scroll through until I find a texture that I want to use, and I'm feeling kind of in a yellow mood, so I'll select uh, this kind of yellow dappled paint. Double-click it. It now becomes my texture. I hit apply, and it's on my walls. So I now have that color on all six of my walls. All right, so let's go ahead and try to put a, a floor in. Now this time I don't want to go through all the textures, so I'm going to go down to the filter like I did before and just put in floor and see what comes up as uh, the available textures in terms of flooring. And you see there's uh, stuff that's concrete and corrugated and there's some grass and gravel and snow and things like that. I am feeling in, what kind of mood am I in? Let's put in some tile here just for fun. So we'll put in this old vinyl floor here. Uh, double click that, apply, and I have a vinyl floor in. All I got left now is my ceiling. So again, let's browse. And this time we'll use the filter of ceiling. And let's, what should we put in? Let's put in some acoustic tiles. Double click that, I switch my texture. Oops, sorry, I gotta browse that again. Hopefully it's still set. And just hit apply. And just like that, we have a textured room. Now for fun, let's back out and see what I'm talking about. The six sides are still, are the five sides that aren't painted are still no draw. So we're not using any memory, we're not using any